who has written the letter. Gentlemen, I'm going to thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. This thank has you. been very interesting. Very interesting. But I do need to ask Mr. N. Ram why he decided to write this letter. Mr. Ram, good evening and thank you uh, for being with us here on Mirror Now. Uh, we were having a bit of a debate on whether the letter you have written about Rahul Gandhi debating Prime Minister Modi is a good idea or not for Indian democracy. Can I ask you what prompted you to write this letter? Actually, a friend of mine had this idea and said, uh, this was what, you know, some, some of the faces were over, but better late than never. So some of the issues, for example, uh, the redistribution issue, which Rahul Gandhi had raised, they have to be uh, discussed seriously, not caricatured or in a, in a vulgar way, if you like. So, uh, so that is what prompted us. And when he asked, uh, he said there should be uh, two uh, respected uh, former judges. So I came up with the name of the former Supreme Court judge, uh, Justice Lokur. And of course, the obvious person, another obvious person was Justice Ajit, Ajit Prakash Shah, uh, who, who they, they addressed these issues in a very serious and dignified way. Uh, so I think uh, that, that was the idea. And we thought uh, we'll raise this possibility. Okay. There's no guarantee that uh, uh, both will accept. But on the 9th, uh, 9th of May, uh, this letter was delivered uh, to uh, the uh, PMO and also to the office of Mr. Rahul Gandhi. Why, why these two? PM, obvious, because he's the main campaigner. Polls have shown that one third of the BJP support, at least one third, uh, comes from Prime Minister Narendra Modi's personal uh, appeal, his personality, his charisma, etc. And Rahul Gandhi has been extremely active as mm -hmm. a voice raising, uh, you know, mm. the, uh, opposite issues or uh, different issues. So we thought an engagement, it, it won't uh, okay. be enough, but it will be a good start. That is the idea behind this letter. And we hope that we'll get public support. Okay. By, by thinking people for the idea. Mm -hmm. that Mr. Enram, you have all our support. Thank you. You have all our support. In fact, Mira now will be very happy to platform this debate if it ever happens. But Mr. Ram, very quickly before I let you go, can I ask you, there are many people who will argue uh, this is the parliamentary, India has a parliamentary style of democracy. This is not a presidential style where you are picking a president for your country. Yes, in a, India's parliamentary democracy, you're picking a prime minister for your country, but you're also picking your MP. Yeah. And therefore, these kind of debates simply won't cut it here. You're saying the attempt is to lend dignity to India's democracy. But what purpose will it achieve? You see, no debate will clinch an election. I don't believe even in a presidential system, as in the US. You know that uh, Biden has challenged mm. uh, Trump to uh, a debate and both sides have accepted for perhaps for different reasons. The first debate will be fielded in June, on June mm. 27th and the second debate... Uh, by September 10th, and maybe you, like uh, ABC and so on, you can also field one if they agree. Uh, that's the whole idea. You need the skilled moderators mm -hmm. who are independent and so on, who are nonpartisan. So that's the idea. But there's nothing that says only the debate should take place only uh, in a presidential election. Even there, it's not enough. It's the people want to hear these people, and okay. we have to make an assessment. Who are the two voices uh, most prominent in this election? Uh, uh, as an All India Party, I suppose the Congress, however weakened it has been over the last uh, couple of decades, uh, has has been the principal All mm. India Party, and the BJP is the dominant okay. uh, political party in mm. the country. So, these two leaders. But if uh, if the Congress wants to feel Mr. Karge, that's also fine. But we thought that, for example, these two would be good debaters to uh, to debate issues that matter to really engage with each other, to have follow-up questions, moderated by somebody like you, uh, uh, who, who can uh, stick to the agenda and sort of follow up with relevant questions, keep the focus on key issues, not trivial issues, not personal, not personal things, and so okay. on. So that, that's the whole idea, mm. that you have to raise the it's level of idea. debate in this election and beyond, which is the whole idea. We threw out, uh, threw, threw it out there. It's a in good idea. Sphere, and I think it's been quite well received. It's a good idea. There's no response from the Prime Minister. There is a response from, uh, uh, you know, from Rahul Gandhi. I doubt, 
I doubt you'll get a response from the Prime Minister, but good try and a good idea. We'll leave it there for the moment, Mr. Ram. Thank you very much for your time here on Mirana. Thank you.